What's up, everybody? Good morning. Welcome to another Lisa Upside Down. My name is Lisa, and today we have another Pilates class coming at you. Today's Pilates class is body weight only. <gasps> Gas. Oh my God, what? Yep, body weight only. So no dumbbells, no kettlebells, no medicine balls, no resistance bands, no torture devices whatsoever. You can use them if you want them. I will cue a time and a place for them. However, I wanted to give you a body weight only class. The one thing that I will be using is a set of blocks. So if you have a set of blocks or a book or something to put your foot on, that would be helpful, but it's not even necessary. Today's class is in the form of a Tabata style. So it's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 20 seconds of busting your ass, 10 seconds of catching your breath. We're doing it for an hour. Today's class is being recorded during my 6.30 a.m. Zoom class. They are under you, so if it looks like I'm staring into your living room, I'm not. I'm checking to see what they're doing, making sure they stay safe. Safety is my number one priority. So please, since I am not there to supervise your form, make sure you are listening to my cues and above all, listening to your own body. You know your body better than anybody. Listen to it. If it's screaming no, that means no. No means no, right? Right. This class is done in complete silence for you. We are listening to uh, the, I think it's the 90s throwback <laughs> Garage Pilates playlist on my Spotify, at Lisa Eileen. If you wanna follow us, follow me, follow along to the music that we're listening to, that would be what we are listening to. But if you wanna rock out to your own tunes or if you wanna pick any of the number of Garage Pilates-ish playlists on my Spotify, any of those go as well. If you guys are ready, or even if you're not, get yourself some water, get yourself a towel, sit yourself down on your mat, and let's get ready for a great class. Come on to your tabletop position. Let's get those wrists going. There are push-ups today at some point. Heels of your hands in towards each other, fingers out towards the side, and start to roll it. Uh-oh, I'm just going to be singing the whole, <laughs> the whole class. Take it over to one side. Rotate around the other direction, really focusing on pushing those knuckles down one at a time. Ooh. One more and land it on your heels. Take your fingertips towards you, heels of your hands away from you, and sit and start to bend those elbows. Body like a cyclone. Uh oh, maybe this wasn't a good playlist for me. <laughs> Full on singing. Stretching out your forearms, the insides of your wrists. If your elbows are not bending, makes sense. This is hard, it hurts. We sit like this all day. So this is a complete new sensation for a lot of people. All right, come all the way up. Take the back of so your hands down onto the ground. Fingertips still towards you. Heels of your wrists away from you. Same idea. Bend those elbows if you can. Good. Bring yourself all the way up. Sit up. Grab love and light and take that right elbow down. The left goes into the right. Find those eagle arms. Pull those elbows down and away from you. Watch your girls. I don't have any, so I don't have to worry about that. But pull it above the girls and over to the side. Make sure your shoulders stay away from your ears. Really starting to pull that left shoulder open in the back. If you want to take it a little bit down, you can feel a little bit different of a sensation in that back and that shoulder. Just play with it. Okay, come back into center, grab onto that left elbow. Hands come up and over. Imagine you're in between those two panes of glass so we don't want to be slouching like this. You don't need to take your girls out either. It's just right in that two panes of glass. If you want to open up that arm to the right side of the room, Pulls a little bit more on that side body. Take a nice deep inhale into your left rib cage. Ooh, open it up. And relax. 
all the way, fingertips to the ceiling. Good. Left arm goes down, right goes in the crook. Find those eagle arms, pull those elbows down, and over to the left side. Again, if you want to take a little bit different sensation, you can start to round that back. Feeling that pull in your shoulder. Just make sure you save some space in your neck between your shoulder and your ear. Don't find that turtle shell. Good. Come back into center, grab onto that right elbow and come up and over. You can open up that arm. Ooh, reach. And relax all the way down. Give yourself one of these, one of these, whatever you need. Take your fingertips all the way down to your palms too, your whole hand down to the ground. Pop those toes under and give yourself a down dog. So to really work one calf at a time, one heel all the way down to the ground. You can even find like a little bit of a plank pulling those calves open. Find it all the way up to that down dog. Maybe you find that three-legged plank. Just walk it out left and right. Give yourself a little spin if it feels good. Good. Take those feet hip distance apart. You start to walk your hands back to your feet, back of your mat, and find that forward fold. Uttanasana, to maybe go side to side. And then find that left hand in front of your right foot. Right hand comes all the way up to the ceiling. Maybe your fingertips of that right hand find the ceiling. Maybe they find behind you. Maybe they even find your left hip crease. Get your shoulder away from your ear. Pull that arm down. Left knee is bent. Right knee is straight-ish bent. No hyperextension of that knee, please. Keep it soft. But you're just working those hamstrings. Good. Unwind yourself and take it to the other side. Left hand in front of right foot. Bring it all the way over. Reverse what you did. Same idea. Knee bent, other straight. Create space in that neck between the shoulder and the ear. Ooh, reverse yourself all the way back into that forward fold. Walk your hands back out to that down dog. Lift the leg and pull it through just so you can find that wide leg forward fold. Same idea. Just working those hamstrings. Take that left hand in front of right foot. Right hand comes all the way up and over. You'll notice the sensation is now in the inside hamstring. It's the same movement, different leg position. Brings it to a different part of your hamstring. Take it to the other side. Right hand in front of left foot. Left hand comes up and over. Find it. You might want to wiggle your hips around. Find where that sensation feels best in your body. Reverse yourself, come all the way back into that wide leg forward fold. Heel toe those feet all the way together. Sit it on down. Good. <clears throat> Find your knees on the ground. You're gonna start to rotate your pelvic bone up, bringing those hands back. You can feel that stretch in your quad muscles. Maybe you start to bring those hips all the way up off of your knees, off of your knees, that's not a thing, off of your heels. Just really stretch out those quads and take a seat all the way down. All right, we're ready, I'm over it. Starting out with starfish today. So what is that? You're gonna come all the way out into a nice star position. You're gonna take one hand, we're going with our left hand to our right foot and back down, up and down, up and down. I am doing body weight only today, but if you do have dumbbells or you have a medicine ball or you want to amp it up a little bit, you could take whatever you have in your hands and bring both hands up to that foot, down and up. But 
for us who are doing body weight only, this is where we're at today. All right? So set yourself up. Ready? 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 I'm not. I'm up too high. Okay. Set yourself up and let's go. Dig it up. Right back down. So this hand, if you're doing body weight only and only one hand to one foot, is here for balance only. This is not to help you get up. It just chills right here, helping me so I don't fall over. You want to make sure you're using your core. Change. Same foot, right foot up, left hand up. We're pulsing right here. You're going to take that tailbone, popping it up off the ground. Same with your shoulder blades. Set yourself up and let's go. Right here. Pulse, 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 pulse. <laughs> Why is this hard today? Oh my God. Kick that heel straight up to the ceiling. Kick, 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 kick. Good. Hand straight to that foot. Change. Come on down. Let it go. You got full range, same side. Ready? Set yourself up. Let's go. Right back down. Use your breath. Exhale. Inhale. Oops, I mean, <laughs> inhale when you come down, exhale, explode up. Coming all the way hand to foot. Woohoo, change. Come all the way down. Bring that foot in the air, same side, same hand up. Kick in the ceiling. Ready? Let's go. Up. Keep those shoulder blades off the ground. You're working that one side of your abs. Really reaching to the right side with that left hand. Almost. Change. Come on down. One more. Same side. One more of each and I'll move on. I promise. Ready? Set it up and go. Take it up. Take it right back down. <laughs> My AirPod just died. <laughs> Damn it. All the way up. You're almost there. Change. Take it down. Right foot up. Left hand up. Last one on this side. Pulsing it out. Ready? Flex that foot. Engage those hamstrings. Let's go. So even though we stretch our hamstrings, if this doesn't look like this, if it looks like this, and your knee is bent, that's okay. Don't worry about it. What I'm looking for is this pelvic tilt and these shoulders up off the ground. Change. All right, starfish out. Other side. Right hand to left foot. Ready, 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 ready? Let's go. Take it up, right back down. Kick that tailbone up, really contracting those ab muscles, Get that arm all the way up to that foot. And again, if you've got a ball in your hand, make sure that you're bending, change, bending those elbows, not necessarily coming all the way out straight. If that ball is heavy, <laughs> arch your shoulders, set yourself up, pulse it out, let's go. Right up, yeah. Kick that heel to the ceiling. Hand pulses to foot, butt shoulder blade up. It's a small movement. Ooh, <laughs> but not a small feels. Nope. Change. Come on back. Full range. Round two. Ready? Set yourself up. Let's go. Same side. Up and down. Keep that motion going. And again, if your knee is bent, that's okay. Just roll that tailbone up off the ground. You want that full range though. Change. Ready? Pulsing it up. Set it up. Kick that heel to the ceiling. Ready? Let's get it. Reach, reach, reach. Keep that shoulder up. Keep moving. You got this. 
change. Aye, take it all the way down. Same one, same, same. Full range. Last one, let's go. Breathe, please. Ooh, all the way. Find that full range as your last set of these. Make it your best. Change. Keep that foot in hand up towards the ceiling. You got those pulses. Flex out that foot. Engage those hamstrings. Even if they're bent, let's go. Pulse, pulse, pulse. You've got it. Keep that reach. Find a tempo in your head or in real life and follow it. Change. All right. So, today I am going to be utilizing these blocks. But if you don't have blocks, you can grab a book. Or um, for this one, you can grab a pillow. <clears throat> what we're doing is a full setup with a nice stretch at the top. Okay, so your feet are in that bridge position. Fingertips are above your face, like you're reading a book. You're gonna take this position and come all the way up. Notice that I did not do this, okay? That is momentum, and that is also cheating. So if you cannot come all the way up today, if that is not available, you're gonna come where you can, stop, pause and come right back down. So if yours looks lower, that's okay. I want you to have this correct form and do your best to let your abs do the work, then cheat <laughs> and fling yourself up. All right, so set yourself up, full setup. Ready, let's go. Take yourself up and right back down. I am doing body weight only again. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that within the next hour, but if you have dumbbells or a medicine ball, <laughs> these are fun with the medicine ball. If you have dumbbells, anything weighted, a kettlebell, change, you can absolutely use that, okay? All right, you're gonna take your feet up right here. You're gonna take these blocks to your feet and pull your tailbone up, let's go, right here. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Open up these knees a little bit, you can get right in the center. See my tailbone popping up off the ground. Shoulders up at that nice little pulse. Change. Feet come down, full range. Sit up all the way to the ceiling if you can. Ready? Let's go. Take it up. Ah. And I want that full extension. If you can come up to the top today. Get that nice full extension. Arms, shoulders, find that range of motion in your shoulders, change. Come all the way down. Open up those knees. Find that block pointed towards your feet or dumbbells or kettlebell or medicine ball. Let's go. Take it right down to your feet. So your knees should be directly over your hips. Right here, we did those dead bugs last week. That should be the form, not up here, right here. Change, come on down. Ready, full range sit up. Last one, set yourself up. Let's go, Wait. bring yourself up, right back down. You wanna come down with control. Feel each of your vertebrae hit the mat independently instead of just flopping down all at once. Hey. Reach, reach, change. Knees up. <laughs> Black in between your knees. Going towards those feet. Shoulder blades up off the ground. Tailbone up, let's go. Pop, 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 pop. Keep those knees in check. Don't let them come too close. Pop that tailbone. Just roll, 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 roll. Change. 
change. All right. Coming all the way up. What am I doing? This is what I need. This is what's beeping. Good. Find your side plank. What I'm looking for is a forearm side plank all the way here. Now, I don't know if you've heard me say it before, but I don't care where your feet are. Okay, on top, directly in front. All right, what I'm looking for is hand behind your head. You're gonna take that elbow all the way down to the mat and right back up. Look at your shoulder, look at your elbow. Make sure you're in alignment. You're not over here, you're not over here. Find that good alignment first. Place your feet, set yourself up. It'd be nice if I had the timer set. Ready? Let's go. Take that elbow down and right back up. You're looking for that nice ooh, ab muscle to remind you it's there. All the way up, all the way back down. Remember, I don't care. You put that foot out. If you need that for balance, that's okay. Fit one more in. Change. Hey. Good. Take it to the other side. Find yourself in that forearm plank. Look down here first. Find that alignment. Set yourself up. Let's go. All the way down. Hold that core tight. Ooh -hoo. All the way down. Elbow all the way to that mat. Almost. Good. No pulling on that head either. Take that elbow down. Notice I'm barely touching my head. <laughs> Almost there. Change! All right. Get. Perfect. All right. Come into your forearm plank for me. We're going up and down, and down and up, and up and down, and down and up. So forearm plank, two high plank, two forearm plank, two high plank, okay? Finding where your elbows are, replacing it with your hands, coming to the other side, okay? You want side to side, set yourself up. I haven't started the timer yet, ready? Let's go. Down and up. All the way up, all the way down. Okay. All the way up, all the way down. Ooh. Keep going. Side to side, make sure your core is tight. Keep your butt down. Change. Come on, all the way down. All the way down and find that prone position. All right. We're doing our grasshoppers today. So bend those knees. Take those feet together. Looking all kinds of comfortable. You're going to take your glutes, your hamstrings, and your lower back. Engage them to bring those thighs off the ground. And you're pulsing right here. Okay? Set it up. Ready? Let's go. Right here. Keep pulsing. Use that butt. Engage those glutes. How you doing? <laughs> you good? <laughs> good. Five seconds. Keep the sides up high. E Engage. Change. Come all the way back down. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down with those planks. Set yourself up nice and high. Ready? Let's go. Take it down. All right. So we're trying to reduce the rock, right? So if you need to, take those feet out a little bit wider to come down and up. Engage your core. <laughs> Keep moving and switch sides every time. Otherwise, you're going to push yourself up with the same hand over and over. You'd be all kinds of Hulk on one side, change, and not on the other. 
<laughs> all right, find your grasshopper all the way down in that prone position. Bend those knees, knees out, feet together. Set yourself up, engage your butt. Let's go. Right here. Get this thighs up nice and high. Normally, when I do these, I stick dumbbells in my knee pits, but I'm doing body weight only. I'm gonna see how many times I can slide that in there. <laughs> Just so we know. <sighs> Five seconds. Oh shit. Change. Woo! Come all the way back up. <sighs> all right. I'm gonna roll around for one more second. One more second. One more thing. You got rainbows. Okay? So bring those hands under your butt like this. Give yourself a nice little seat. You're going to stay low with these. You're coming from one corner to the other. One to the other. Not up here. That's different. Okay, I'm looking for lower abs. Try to get the small of your back as close to the floor as you can as you go from side to side. Set yourself up. Ready? Let's go. Nice and low. Looking to engage those lower abs. Try to get your head off the floor if you can. If you can look down, check out your pedicure <laughs> as we're doing this. Figure out what you need to do when you're off the mat. I don't have my rainbow toes change. I'm a little sad about that. All right, you're going reverse. So up on the side, down in the center, up on the side, down on the center, up on the side. Set it up and go. Let's go. Same idea. See if you can keep those heads off the ground. V down, V down, V down. Use your core. Engage your abs. Keep those legs straight. Point or flex your feet. Change. All right, taking it the other way. Rainbows. Start down in a corner. Set yourself up. And let's go. Side to side to side to side. Almost. You got this. Head up if you can. Change. All right, one more the other way. Bring it up in the corner, down in a V. Where are you? And up on the other side. Let's go. Down and up. Keep going, keep that head up. Try and keep that small of your back close to the ground. Use those abs, change. All right, roll it up, stand it up, grab some water. Meet me up top. Ah. Okay. So, first thing on the legs we're doing is a lateral lunge with the tone bay. All right? So we're going to anchor that right foot. Anchor that right foot, come down towards the left. When you come into a lateral lunge, we're not over here, okay? You want to make sure you're sitting. Sit down. So, it's as if you were in a chair squat. You just move that leg over, all right? So you're still not here. Come down. You need to have all your weight in that heel like so. All right, you're anchoring that right foot, come down nice and low in that lateral lunge, that left foot kicks out, tombe. Down and up, okay? Set yourself up, take it down. <laughs> Let's go, kick it up, come all the way down. And as you come down, stick that butt out, really sit in that chair, sit. The lower you come, the more effort it's gonna take for you to tombe, right? That's what we're after. We're not here to dilly-dally or slack in our one hour. Change. All right. You're going to come down to that lateral lunge. You're going to pulse to the side. Set yourself up. Ready? Let's go. Take it low. All right. Look at your knee. Look at your toes. Can you see your toes? <laughs> if not, sit back. If you're up here, sit back. There you go. Stay low. 
Hey, change. All right. Same idea, same side. Coming nice and low on that left. Right stay stick straight. Let's go. Take it low. Tombe. Shake, shake, shake your money maker. Kick it all the way out. <laughs> We're listening to 90s. 90s, 2000s? Mix mash. Take it low. Sit. Whoa. Change. Okay. You're pulsing. Same side. Ready? Get ready. Ready or not? Let's go. Take it low. Shit. No, you can't hear me. <laughs> Can you hear me? All right. Stay low. Stay low. Stay low. Stay low. Stay low. My AirPods just died for my Zoom class. Damn it. Change. I knew I should charge those. All right. Same idea. Tombe. Same side. One more set of them. Let's go. Take it down low. Hup. Take it low. All the way. Sit in that chair. Every time should be lower than the next. Sit low. Kick with that straight leg. Point that toe or flex that foot. Pick one. Change. All right. <laughs> Pulse it. Same side. Ready? Let's go. Take it low. Low, 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 low. Sit in that heel. <laughs> I can't hear the music anymore, but my Zoom class can. <laughs> They're rocking out. <laughs> Sit low. Sit in your heel. Back it up. Change. All right. Other side. That was three, I think. I don't know. I'm not here to have Christy. Christy's not here to yell at me. Tombe, other side, other side, other side. Ready? Get low. The first couple are going to feel weird. You got to set up your bearings again. Taking it to the other side. Really sit in that heel. Sit down. Chest up. Whole time. Kick. <laughs> Change. All right. Anchor that right foot. Sitting into that low lateral lunge. Ready? Let's go. Take it low. Pivoting off that heel. You want to make sure you're on that heel. Chest up. Stay low. <laughs> okay, chest up. Almost. Change. <sighs> Ready? <laughs> Same side. Round two. Set yourself up in that nice lat lunge. Let's go, tombe. Take it low. Tombe. Take it low. E. All the way down. When you feel this in your glutes, nice and low. Sticking that butt back. Change. Pulsing. Same side. Ready? Take yourself down. Let's go. Right here. Pulsing. Nice and low. Look at your knee. Look at your toes. You see your toes? <laughs> if not, back it up. Stay low. Knee over that ankle. To the wall. Oh, I can hear it. Change. <laughs> Take it down to that tombe. Ready? Set yourself up. Down. Kick it. Let go. Get that leg straight. Okay. All the way. Ooh. Something cracked. Stay low. Change. Down. <laughs> All right, pulse, last time, let's go, <laughs> down low, good, find your heel, just rock it on that heel, there should be very little, if any, tension in that front foot, the front of the foot, ball of your foot, 
What's the front of your foot? So you're walking backwards everywhere. Change, come all the way up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. All right, righty yo. you got running mans. Okay, so pick a side, get nice and low. Find your lunge, okay? More like a crescent lunge, all right? You're gonna come down nice and low on that crescent lunge. You're gonna pull elbow to knee, but a lot faster, okay? Cardio, 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 all right? So you're gonna running man as fast as you can. Set yourself up, pick a leg, find that crescent, and let's go. Pull, pull, pull. Now as you're doing this and you're pulling elbow to knee, you wanna be pushing back with this front heel. Push, so it's a race against gravity, so you don't fall on your ass. But stay low in that front leg, bent the whole time. Change. <laughs> One more, same side. Get low. Hands up. Ready? <laughs> Let's go. Take it down, take it down, take it down. Elbow to knee. Make sure you're low in this front leg. Push through that heel. Engage that quad muscle and push, 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 push. Almost. Almost, change. Other side. Yeah, I'm kicking my mat everywhere. Set it up, other side, two running mans. Ready? Let's go. Take it down, take it down, take it down. Stay low in this knee. Chest up. Stay low. Keep moving. Almost there. Change. One more. Change. <laughs> One more, same side. Low. Ready? Let's go. Find your breath. Catch your breath. <laughs> Try to breathe in every two. Breathe out every two. Almost there. Hey, hey, change. <laughs> all right, drop it low. All the way down. Find your push-ups. So today, for push-ups, we're gonna alternate them out with mountain climbers. <laughs> so first set, you have regular push-ups, followed by regular mountain climbers. Next set, you're gonna bring your hands in, nice and tight. Roll your elbows back, biceps forward, elbows and biceps stay next to your body the whole time. Narrow push-ups. And then you have cross mountain climbers from one side to the other. Last set, you have wide push-ups, okay? And then wide mountain climbers. All right? <laughs> so set yourself up for those normal, regular push-ups first. Ready? Let's go. Take it down, take it up. All right. Make sure when you're doing these that you're not hinging at the waist. Okay, it's not a push-up. Take it down, take it up. All right? Down and up, down and up, down and up. Change. If you're doing push-ups on your knees like I was, pop up onto your toes. You got mountain climbers driving those knees down the center. Push the ground away through the heels of your hands and let's go. Run, 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 run. I don't care how fast or slow you're going, just make it sustainable for the whole 20 seconds. Push, push, push. Ooh. Change. <laughs> Find those narrow push-ups. Hands closer together and roll. Elbows back, biceps forward. Set yourself up, let's go. Take it down. Let those arms brush the side of your rib cage every time. Pushing down and up. Make sure again that you're not hinging and you don't have your elbows going wide out. Change. Cross mountain climbers. 
Put your hands back directly under those shoulders. Find left knee to right elbow, right knee to left elbow, side to side. Let's go. Cross, 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 cross. And again, make sure it's sustainable. Make sure you're not up here. You want to be in that plank position the whole time. Push. Round your back. Change. Rounding your back a little. All right. Ready? Last set of push-ups. Take it nice and wide. Set it up. Let's go. Take it down and up. Watch your butt. Make sure you're in check. You're almost there. Keep it wide. No hinging at the waist. Change. All right, these are spider mountain climbers. Knee to outside elbow. This side, then this side, then this side. Again, let's go. I don't care how fast you're going. If you need a little bit of a break, go slower. If you can go, go like Spider-Man, climbing up a wall. Side, 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 outsides. Keep those knees high. Change. Good. <laughs> Roll it back. Grab some water if you need to. Uh, hey, hey, hey. All right. I found a towel. Didn't think I'd need a towel. Okay. Standing all the way up. Up we go. <laughs> all right. Remember these? Okay. If you have a block or a book, I want to do right first. If you have a block or a book, find it. Something that you don't mind stepping on. We're going to find a nice, wide sumo squat. We're going to stay in the sumo squat. So this block, I like to put it kind of diagonal. So it holds my whole foot. Okay? You're going to come down, knees directly over those heels, your ankles. And this right side is going to come up and down. All right? That's it. Doesn't look too bad. You just wait. Sit down nice and low. Ready? Let's go. Heel up, heel down. Right here. Now, think about it as if we are in corona times, which we are, and you want the park bench to yourself, okay? Get it out. Sit nice and wide, all right? You want to take up all the room that you can. Make sure you're taking up a lot of room. Sitting back, change. Leave that heel up. You are pulsing right here, okay? Set yourself up. And let's go. Right here. Pulse, pulse. Nice and high. Find your stiletto heels. Put them on. And sit back. No chest forward. This is a whole nother class in its own, okay? I need you to pulse. Sit, sit. Dropping that tailbone down, down, down. Heels up. Change. Come on up. Same side. Moving that heel up and down. Ready? Sit low. Let's go. Drop that heel. Drop that heel. Drop that heel. Up and down. Okay, sit back, chest up. Woohoo. Change. <laughs> All right, heel up. Find that heel up. You're pulsing, same side. Ready? Let's go. Take it low. All right. So what are my hands doing? My hands were here, and I was pushing on my legs. I don't have dumbbells. Normally, I stick those in my hip creases, and I push for a little bit of extra weight. But I just have my hands. I'm pushing. If you don't want to do that, change. Keep your hands up here. That's OK, too. All right, one more. Heel up, heel down. Same side. Ready? Get low. Let's go. Think about pushing these knees back to that back wall. Same idea. You can push, but I want those legs open. I want you using your inner thighs, your glutes. Pull nice and tight. Change. 
Come on up. <sighs> Pulsing it out. Last one on this side. Ready? Let's go. Stay low. 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 Stay low. Chest up. I know you're tired. Get that chest up. Almost. Hey, change. All right. Move that guy out of the way. I have two. Take it to the other side. Set yourself up. Other side. Finding that heel up, heel down. <laughs> Just yeeted the block. Don't want that one. Find yourself down, nice and low. Ready? Let's go. Take it up. Take it up. Up and down. Hup, hup, hup. And when you're coming down, make sure you're coming down with control. If your heels are shaking on the way down, it means you got the brakes on. That's good. It's like when you slam on the brakes in your car. <laughs> Change. And you see that like brake pattern where you're tripping. Same idea with the brakes on your heel. Set it up. Let's go. Means that you kind of have control over it. Not really. Pulse, pulse. Stay low. Heel up nice and high. Woohoo. Stay down. Change. Hee hee. Shaky, shakies. Change. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. Heel up, heel down. Here. Figure out what you want to do with those hands. If you've got dumbbells, <laughs> feel free to do you, whatever you want to do. But really, stay low, change. <sighs> Pulse. Ready? Get down. Let's go. Right here. Chest up. Sit back. Ooh. Stay low. Finding those quad muscles. Engage those bad boys. Change. <laughs> up you go. One more of each, I think. Taking it down. Heel up, heel down. Ready? Let's go. Slow, slow, slow. Good. Push, 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 push. Ooh. Almost. Change. <laughs> One more. Pulse it out. Heel up. Set it up. What do you not? Let's go. Take it low. All the way down, chest up. Sit on that park bench as if you just sat down. You're tired. You want to put all of your weight in that tailbone. Sit down. Legs parallel with the ground. Not up here. Sit low. Change. Okay. Ah. All right. We have time. Drop yourself all the way down. Find those books or blocks or even a chair would work for your bridges. Blocks right under your feet. Okay. So your toes are going to be together. You've got kind of pigeon toe thing going on. Knees are together. You're going to come all the way up, all the way down. You're gonna glue your legs together from your knees to your groin, all right? Glue it shut and come all the way down, all the way up, whenever you're ready. <laughs> I've started. Come down, come up, all the way. Full range of motion. If you have those hands, the only thing I don't want them to do is help you, okay? Don't put those hands here. To avoid cheating, Bring those fingertips maybe to the ceiling. 
Bring yourself all the way down, all the way up, full range of motion. Keep those knees together, thighs are together. Find your full range for five, four, three, two, one. Pulse it up at the top, glue it together. Don't let those knees come apart. Find this nice bridge at the top. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Keep it up high. Ooh, knees are locked together. Finding those inner thighs, activating those guys, pulling those legs shut. Let's go, four, five, four, three, two, one. Keep those hips up nice and high. You're gonna take those knees all the way out and back in, all the way out and back in. You're still up nice and high on those toes. Hips are high. You find that butterfly. Nice and slow. Keep those hips up. Good, you got five, four, three, two, one. Hold those legs out, find the sides of your feet, the blades of your feet down on your blocks, soles of your feet now together, finding this butterfly position, pulse at the top. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Stay up. Don't let those glutes fall to the ground. Keeping it high. Let's go for a five, four, three, two, one. Full range all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. Gentle tap on the ground, barely grazing the ground. Find the ground though before you shoot yourself right back up to the top. Keep those knees wide. All right, let's see, five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way down, grab onto those knees, give yourself a little rock and roll. Ooh. Okay, bring those feet flat onto those blocks. Bring yourself all the way up into that bridge position. Kick that left foot up to the ceiling and find that full range. All the way down with those glutes, all the way back up, down, up, down, up. You wanna kick that left foot to the ceiling <clears throat> all the way. And we're gonna go five, four, three, two, one. Take that foot down like you're kicking a soccer ball. Toe kicks all the way down, all the way up. Keep those glutes up nice and high. Foot down, foot up, down and up. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep those heels up to the ceiling and pulse, 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 pulse. Not much longer. Ah, my glutes. Whew. We go for five, four, three, two, one. Take it down, don't think about it. Switch feet. Left foot on that black, right foot up to the ceiling. Find that full range of motion, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. Pushing through that left foot. Get that heel all the way to the ceiling. All right, five. Ooh, I hear it, it's my mom's jam. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep those hips up, kick that soccer ball all the way down, all the way up. Down and up. Stay high. Stay high, my friends. Push through that foot. Five, four, three, two, one. Pulse, finish it off. Pulse, 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 pulse. E. Let's go for a five, four, Three, two, one. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Come all the way down. Kick those blocks out. You don't need them anymore. Bring those knees into your chest. Rock and roll yourself. Front to back, to side, to side. 
whatever you feel your body needs and take yourself out into that happy baby. Grabbing onto the insides of the outsides of your feet. Oh, ha, ha. Just rock and roll yourself. Do whatever you feel you need to. Maybe take your left foot into your chest, right foot out nice and straight. Maybe you take it the other direction. <laughs> My glasses are all fogged up. That doesn't do shit for me. Can't see anyway. Good. Maybe you bring both feet into your chest. So that reclined butterfly position. And release. Take both of those knees over to your right side. Uh, if you want to bring those legs straight, you can. It hits a little bit different on those glute muscles. So you got that supine twist, both shoulder blades on the ground, straight line from your bottom hip to your top to the ceiling. Your gaze is over your opposite shoulder, your left shoulder. And reverse, use those core muscles to bring your legs up and over to the opposite side. Again, if you wanna put those legs out straight, you can. Straight line from your bottom hip, top hip, ceiling. Gazes over your right shoulder. And bring yourself into center. Rock and roll yourself all the way up. Find that Dandasana, walk your butt back, sit it back. And as you do, your chest comes forward, straight spine, leading with your chin, your collarbone, all the way down, find that Dandasana. And then when you can't go any further with a straight spine, go ahead and let your head fall down. <coughs> Bring yourself back into that seated position. Let your heels follow you. Find that Sukhasana. Grab all the love of the light in the room. Pull it down into your own heart center, bowing your head in appreciation for yourself and for your practice. Thank you for playing today. Please enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and the rest of your life. Namaste.